Jerry Lang is running for re-election to the State House, representing District 8. The other candidates are fellow incumbent Mitch Fargent, Patricia Strickers, and Jason Bjorklund. Each candidate will be answering the same set of questions, and you can compare their responses online at AmazingMedicine.com. Jerry, South Dakota requires a balanced budget, yet the last several budgets have required major infusions of federal funds to reach that balance. What would you do to create a sustainable, balanced budget? Well, I would follow the lead of um, our uh, governor candidate, um, Scott Heideprim, to first take a good look at what we're doing right now. We know that we've been spending um, about 5% per year uh, on government, and we've zeroed out education. And uh, there's something, I think, that could be adjusted in the present budget in order to first look at where we are. I think there's no question that uh, there are efficiencies that could be made in peer. And during the last session, South Dakota gave a $10 million refund to TransCanada to build the Keystone Pipeline. Do you believe that incentive packages to specific companies such as that one are an appropriate economic development strategy? Uh, definitely not. Um, the contractor's excise tax is something that even hits local school districts when they build. And uh, it's totally unfair that local taxpayers pay this on roads and bridges and everything else, and yet you exempt an out-of-state uh, company from this kind of a tax. And I understand the economics or the politics of it, because when this first started, uh, some of us farmers got a break on the uh, uh, the soybean processing plant in Volga, and uh, this was to stimulate, you know, economic development and especially agricultural economic development. But there's a point where you've got to say, is this fair? And definitely uh, there's something wrong when school districts have to pay a tax like that and big out-of-state, out-of-country uh, uh, corporations can get a refund. And as a House member, do you have ideas or plans to spur job creation in the state, especially here in District 8? Job creation? One of the greatest things you can do is read Aftershock by Robert Reich. He mentions that we're so extreme in our, um, our wages today. The wealth is concentrating more in the hands of a few. And he said back in the 1920s as a run-up to the to the crash of 1929, the extremes were, were there, and uh, what happens is that the workers don't earn enough to buy the production, and then they go on credit, and when the credit runs out, then there's a crash. Jerry, thank you very much. Thanks to candidate Jerry Lang. Hear more from all the candidates October 28th at the Madison Chamber of Commerce Forum.